Good morning everyone, myself Mageshwari, uh, Department of Computer Applications. Now I can present uh, Unit 4 C++ Object Oriented Programming. Uh, first one is pointers. The pointer is a variable that stored the memory address of an object. The three main purpose to allot new object on the heap to pass functions to other functions to iterate over elements in array or objects. Next one is syntax. The data type and variable name. The data type should be valid. For example, integer character float. Uh, star indicates the pointer symbol. The data type is the base type of uh, pointer which must be valid in C++ data type. The variable name should be in the name of the pointer variable. Next one is array. Array are used to store multiple values in a single variable instead of declaring separate variable. For example, here string is a data type car of cars of 4. Car is a variable name or object. Uh, 4 is a um, memory. Uh, for example, declare here Vivo, v, BMW, Ford and Mazard. Maza. To create an array of three integers, uh, here array of integers also declared, uh, it will be write as an integer, my number is a variable name of three, uh, the value is 10, 20 and 30. The next one is polymorphism, the concept of polymorphism is ability to, ability to make many forms, it occurs in hierarchy of class related to each other in inheritance. Uh, the simple form of in polymorphism is Poly means many, morphism means form. It in, uh, shows the different characters in different situation. Uh, this is the meaning of polymorphism. Uh, next one is virtual function. A virtual function uh, is a member function of base class that is overwritten in drive class. The classes have virtual functions are called polymorphic, polymorphic classes. Now, virtual means uh, it is a not a real or a, uh, it contains a virtual memory. It may be or may not be. Uh, for example, syntax class and class name. Class name is an um, user defined name. Uh, public, public is an uh, class member function and a virtual written data type. And in, inside the bracket, we can declare number of arguments. And inside the body of the function, we declare the function definition. Thank you.